Hello, reformers, and welcome to Hand of Fate. Now, the developers of this particular game were very kind enough to give me a early beta key. Now, as you see here, we are in the game and we are prepared for this roguelike action RPG tabletop card experience. Yes, it is a very interesting amalgamation of a different genres and it is coming to Steam Early Access very soon as well as PS Vita and PlayStation 4 which of course I do not own but I own a PC and here we are we are on the Steam version so let us begin and we will see what the game has in store for us now I have played a little bit of this just to test it out and make sure that everything is working correctly with my recording and now we will see what the dealer has for us you remember the Jack of Dust. He still awaits your challenge. Oh, so as you see here, what the premise of the game actually is, is to defeat the Jack, the Queen, and the King of a particular deck. Now, as you see here, we have the Jack of Dust. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He also inspires nearby henchmen to steal gold whenever they land a successful strike. So, let's try to prevent getting hit, shall we? So, let's head on. Let us begin. Yes, he is shuffling the deck, dealing them, and very skillfully, might I add. Now, let us hope that we actually end up with some rather good cards here. Okay, so, as you see, we are starting on the very beginning here, and we have an inventory, because this is an action RPG as well as a roguelike, and... We start with a rusty axe, which is not too fun, I must admit. But we are hopefully going to be acquiring something a little better soon. As you see here, we have some light armor. We can actually acquire some blessings and curses as well. A helm, a shield. We have a rusty shield at the moment. Some artifacts and, of course, trinkets and gloves as well. And we have an upgrade screen. If we want to head over here, everything is locked, of course, because we have not done anything yet. But we will soon see if I'm able to survive even the first level, because, as I say, I did try this out previously, and I took quite a bit of damage, shall we say. So, let's head in, shall we? Aha, Twisted Canyon! Oh, no. Okay. Well, this is something I haven't gotten before. I was actually ambushed on a bridge before. And let us see what is within the Twisted Canyon. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight and lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. What do we want to do? Do we want to climb down to get the weapon? I think we probably do. Let's do it. Oh no. Huge success. Failure, failure, and huge failure. That's not too good. Please be huge success. Maybe. Oh no, we have to choose one. Ah. Oh. That's not good. I actually did not realize we had to choose one, and I probably would have paid more attention. Okay. Well... Ah, huh. okay, let's choose this one. Oh, no, I knew I should have chosen the left one. Okay, well, we lost 10 health, but that's not too bad. And, oh, no, that's not good. Oh, no, we're drawing five pain cards, as you can see here, because I chose huge failure, of course. And we are now losing quite a lot of health, as well as food. But we can move on. As you land, your head strikes a sharp rock, knocking you unconscious. When you wake up, the weapon is gone. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, nothing I could do about that. My selection skills are less than adequate, as you can probably tell. So, let's head over here. The deeper you go, the greater okay, so now we have the Devil's Choice. Oh. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your strength, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Oh my. Okay, what do we want to do? Choose a card to keep. Okay, well, I actually don't know the mechanics of the game too well just yet. And as a result, I think I'll probably take the two. I'll probably take... Uh, well, yeah, I'll probably take one of the twos, because we do have a double of that. And now... Oh my. Okay, so this is where the action RPG portion of the game comes in, and we are going to be fighting a couple of enemies here, or, yes, a couple of enemies, oh no. Rusty Axe, thank you very much, and we have only 65 HP, which is not too good. Now we can dodge, as you can see here, we can dodge with the space bar, and hopefully I'll be able to- No, I was hopefully going to be able to dodge a little bit better than that, but 
Unfortunately, that was not the case this time around. Come on, take him out. Yes, there we are. That guy died relatively easily. Now, the only unfortunate thing is, as you may tell, my dodging skills are awful. But once we have acquired a new weapon, we should be able to very easily counter these enemies with the Q key. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that in a short space of time. Unfortunately enough, in my previous playthrough of this, I was able to acquire a Viking Blade, and that enabled me to counter enemies very quickly indeed, and I really liked using that, but unfortunately, this time around, I was not able to acquire that, as is the case with roguelikes. So, let's see here. Draw one equipment. Let's do that. And, oh, there we are. We have acquired the Viking Blade once again. And now, as you see here, we can gain charges by performing higher tier attacks, then press, well, E, I think it is? Well, yes, this is, of course, in beta, so do bear in mind that some of the font and, indeed, conversations are not finished just yet. Would you like to equip the Viking Blade? Yes, of course I would. I would love to do that. And we have gained five gold, which is always a good thing. I gained another five gold, and that was it, of course. So let's head on. Now we do have one more card, and that is going to be the penultimate card, of course. Let's step onto it. A winding trail. Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. An ambush. You must fight for your life. Draw two monster cards. Okay, well... Now we begin to... Raise the state. Oh yes, okay, so we are going to be fighting probably double the amount of units that we fought previously. Now we do have our Viking Blade, thankfully enough, so we'll be able to do counter-attacks, hopefully. If it is the same Viking Blade as before. Yes, there is the counter-attack. Do you see that? That green symbol above their heads. Hopefully, oh my goodness, what was that? How dare you! Oh no. Oh my goodness. No, I am absolutely terrible at countering. No, this is not good. Oh no, there's traps as well. Okay. Yes, there's the counter attack. Okay, come on. We've only got 12 HP. Let's try to survive this, shall we? Come on. Okay, come on. Let's survive it. Oh, there's a trap. Oh, I see. There's a trap on the side there. That is not good. That is not good at all. Yes. Yeah, we're actually doing well. We're actually doing well. This is surprising, to say the least. No. Okay, come on. Yes, I think we took that guy down, and we took that guy down as well. Thankfully, we were able to do that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're drawing some more equipment from the armory here. And, ah, we actually have an axe now. Aha, so do bear in mind that, yes, the game is actually recommended to play with a controller. So maybe I will switch to that in a future video if you guys want to see more of this. And, let's see, as you see here, during combat, press X, well, I would assume left mouse click, or Y for counterattack. So, yes, not entirely sure whether I really want to equip this axe, but I think I will, because it does 25 damage instead of 20. So, yes, we are gaining 10 gold here, as well. Now, <laughs> as you may tell, we have a very bad chance of surviving now, but I hope we'll be able to potentially level up a little bit, perhaps. And without further ado, let's head on. You have died! No! The bony grip of starvation takes hold, because we don't have any food. So there it is. That was a game of a hand of fate. I will be attempting to do one more, just to show off some of the varying states that you can get yourself in. And we are going to let the dealer draw our opponent once again, which is, of course, the Jack of Dust, as we have not defeated him just yet. And we will skip the deal and shuffling. Now we do have 100 health, of course. And we are back with our rusty axe, of course. So let's hope that we don't actually run out of food this time. And we'll see what we get. Dead Man's Gorge. Oh, well, it appears that most of the cards are not going to help us out too much. Aha, this is the rope bridge ambush that I experienced before. So let's do it. Okay, come on. Let's try not to take too much damage. I'm going to try to make it so that I can dodge effectively because I did not realize before when I was doing this level what the dodge key was. So let's hopefully be able to do just that. Yes, a very nice dodge right there. 
and we can try to stun them as well with our shield, as you can see. We can actually stun with that, which is very good to do. Hopefully stun a couple of them before they're able to attack us. Yes, there we are. Very nice. And hopefully we'll be able to actually stay alive to continue onward a little bit further than we had previously. So, oh no. That was a little mistake right there. But we are in very good shape compared to what I was before. So, that is good. There we are. Take him out with a nice slow motion ending right there. And as you see, we have a lot of cockroaches on the floor too. Yeah, it's very pleasant. So, yes, we have gained five gold and... Aha, some equipment. I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be a mace. And it is a faster weapon, as you can see here. It's faster than a sword or an axe. And we are going to be equipping it. There we are. So now let us continue onward. And to the next card we go. Field of Poppies. Oh my. Let's see. You wander among a field of poppies. Too late you realize that they're sleeping poppies. You wake up groggy and disorientated. Oh no. Well, oh, that's actually not too bad. We have restored our HP by the looks of things. So we haven't gained anything apart from 5 HP, which I suppose would help you out quite a bit if you took a lot of damage in that bandit encounter. Now, as you see here, we can actually head backwards if we so desire. And I'm thinking we're probably not going to do that just for this run through at the moment because as you see here, our food value is going down very steadily indeed. We started with five and now we have three, so let's hopefully be able to get level. to the second level. As you can see here, yes, we have gotten to the second level with the stairs. And there it is. You have discovered the exit to this area. We are going to take the stairs, even if we... <laughs> even if we get killed. I think it's worth it. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. And we now want to head onward. Aha, a winding trail once again. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. An ambush! You must fight for your life. And, oh no, Three of Dust, I believe, is probably going to spawn a lot of enemies. Probably six enemies, considering it's three plus three. I would assume that that is the case, unless I am incorrect. Nope, there it is. Okay, yes, three enemies each. That is not good. Okay, come on, let's do this. Let's use our mace to the best effect that we can. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to counter with it just yet, so we're just going to have to make it so that we stun them and dodge as best we can. Come on, let's do this. Yes, yeah, stun him and attack that guy and then do a nice overhead slash right there and hopefully not get attacked by those traps. Oh my goodness. Well, that is definitely something we need to watch out for. Oh no. Okay, come on. Oh no, that was unfortunate. Oh yes, that guy over there is getting absolutely wrecked by that trap over there, which is really, really nice. Okay, come on. Let's do this. There we are. Oh no, taking a little bit too much damage for my liking. Yes, nice dodge right there. Come on. Yes, there we go. And we punched him into that trap too, which is even better. And he actually got taken out by the trap itself. Look at that. That is amusing. Wow. Okay, there we go. We did it. And we now get to draw some more equipment. A sword. Well, I'd like some more armor if possible, but... Yes, maybe we'll get some food as well from the next gain card, which would be wonderful. Oh, this sword enables us to counterattack, so I think we are going to be equipping this. And we get some five gold as well. Now, what I would like to do, if possible, is head over here, and maybe we'll be able to get some food somehow? I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I think we probably just have to be lucky. I would like to head to the upgrade screen. Let's see if we can actually do anything here. No, it appears not just yet. Ah, unfortunate. Okay. Well, we don't have anything just yet. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe it would be a good idea to Maybe head backwards? Well, I think if you're playing this game a little bit more strategically than I am, then you would probably want to head back and forth a little bit, because we are going to be out of food very, very soon, and that will end up in us starving to death. Hopefully not just yet, though. Devil's choice. Oh, no. A cloak to devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might. So, we're going to keep... Hmm. We're going to keep this one. That should be fine. And now, 
Aha. We're going to be entering an alternate area, it appears. Oh, and this has a lot of traps within it as well. That is not going to be too pleasant, is it? Not at all. Okay. Well, we have 68 HP. I think we should be okay. And, oh no! I actually did not realize that it was actually going to be a combat area. I thought it was going to be some sort of gauntlet. And I think all we need to do is just keep them in that area over there where the traps are shooting them. That seems like a very good thing to do. Come on, stun him. Oh no. Ah, that was unfortunate. Yes, there we are. Nice counterattack. Take him out. No problem at all. And was that it? Oh, that was it. Okay, wow. I actually thought I was going to have to fight a lot more there. Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps the next time our paths cross, I will kill you myself. Well, we will see about that, won't we? So let's draw some more equipment here. Now we do get the Viking Blade, which does 30 damage, which is even better. And we gained 15 gold as well. 25 gold. I'd like to know what I can do with the gold. I'm pretty sure I have to come across some sort of merchant to do that. But unfortunately, I'm not able to do that just yet. So, we're going to head over here. And... Ah, oh, traveling healer. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to be speaking to them. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a gypsy caravan willing to trade with a wandering adventurer. Approach the shop. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, now you have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Ah, I see. So as you could probably hear by the narrator, we have now found out what gold is for. And just as I was wondering about it too, which is excellent timing. So, first things first. We want to head over to the buy food option, of course. We're going to be buying five food, I think. It will cost us 18 gold. Let's do it. Yes, I want to buy it. How do I buy this? <laughs> have I bought it already? Yes, I have. I'm buying a lot of them. Okay, I'm buying them by mistake. <laughs> okay, that is fine. So, let us now head back, shall we? And let's see if we can actually heal. Yes, we can. Okay, we're going to heal 15 HP. And can we do that? I think we can. Yes, there we are. Thank you very much. So there we are. We have done our very best. And now I think we're probably going to sell some items as well. I think we'll probably sell our sword here. I don't think we need it any further. And then we will sell the mace as well. I don't think we need that either. We are probably just going to be using the Viking blade after all. So now we have 24 gold. I think we'll probably head back to heal ourselves up a little bit more, shall we? Hmm, 24 gold. Yes, okay. We'll heal once more, and then can we buy some more food? I'd like to buy some more food. No, 18 for that, unfortunate. Okay, well, yes, that is not the right button. <laughs> okay, there we are. Let's go back. And there we are. We will leave the shop. Yes. Okay, now the last card of the level. We will see what it gives us. Ah, there we go. Yes, he does await our challenge. And what is the dealer reaching for right there? Oh, no. You've discovered the Jack of Dust. Yes, we have. Wonderful. So we are probably going to be fighting him now. A four of dust, that means four enemies, or one large enemy. Yes, very, very large enemy, oh no. Okay, here we go, let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't have any armor upgrades. Yes, take that, counters. Ah, unfortunate, no. Yes, nice counter-attack right there. And maybe another one to that guy. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we are. Come on. Take these guys out as best we can. And counter that guy. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Excellent fighting system, I have to admit. Considering it is a tabletop card roguelike genre, <laughs> as well as action RPG, of course. 
Goodness me, there we are. We took him out relatively easily, I have to admit. We did not lose any HP, I don't believe. But there it is. Jack of Dust has been defeated. Very nice. And there we are. We can add a card to our collection. And I'm not entirely sure what that is going to do. But as you see here, your counterattacks do more damage now, which is even better. I like that. Yes, he's very pleased, as you can probably tell. Wonderful. And bandits have had their strength increased, which is not too good, I have to admit. Aha. That might actually be one of the cards that we have to avoid in future. And you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Ah, I see. So from the narrator's words, as you can probably tell, once we get more powerful, the enemies also do. So there we are. Let us activate this. As a reward for defeating the Bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. Cave Rescue, Ambush, Jack of Bones, which is obviously the next Jack that we have to fight, a Dead King's Hall, a Winding Trail, and a River. Let us add the cards to our deck. Now we have another one. We get Medium Armor, yes, wonderful, Viking Blade, Time Heals, Chains of Rage, Fate's Folly, and Explorer's Helmet. And then our last one, we get Bandit Attack, oh no, Goblins, that's even worse, and Maze of Traps, oh no, okay. Yes, for defeating my Bandit Jack, I will give you a new challenge, so yes, there we go. We add three of those to the deck, and there it is. And that is it, that is... One of the full playthroughs for Jack of Dust, and that is, of course, within the game, Hand of Fate. I hope you have all enjoyed this little early access foray, and if you would like to see more of this, I would be very happy to play it, because it is rather refreshing, I must admit. It is a very different slant on the roguelike genre. Usually it is a top-down, well top-down action RPG only, and I do like the cards, that is for sure, because it gives me some lovely lore to read out. I like that a lot. So, yes, there it is. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.